Hello everyone, Eldrick here, and welcome to our new game, Double Cross. And I'm going to be reading this from the Steam's store page about the game. Developed by 13AM Games, the studio behind award-winning Runbo, Double Cross is an exciting action-adventure game that has players take on the role of Zara, an agent of Rift. Regulators of interdimensional frontiers and technology, whose job it is to maintain peace and order between all dimensions. A recent attack on Rift headquarters thrusts players into a thrilling new case, where they must use their Rift-developed gear to sling, swing, fight, and investigate across the distinct dimensions. During their travels, players will gather clues to bring themselves one step closer to finding the identity of Rift's attacker and save every variation of the universe. So it sounds pretty cool and right up my alley because I love these uh, action platforming type of games. Okay, let's hit start. Um, I believe I've already gone through the options and have set uh, the music and the effects volume at a reasonable level for recording purposes. And the fun factor I'm not really too sure about. It was set on very fun but I changed it to aw because maybe it made it a little bit harder. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's get started. Start game. The Extraverse, Rift Headquarters, Thursday, 13 a.m. This is your cell, Mr. X. Okay, thanks. This is a bit overwhelming, Agent Zara. Don't worry. I'll make it clear in my report that it was just accidental interdimensional travel. Everything will be cleared up in a few hours, okay? Thanks. I know it's too late, but I'm sorry for all the trouble. There was this strange light, and suddenly I was somewhere else, and I was so confused. All those people without tentacles, they look so... tasty. These these things happen sometimes. There are Earths where food looks like people and people look like food. That's why Rift exists. Luckily there were no casualties, but it's why we closely regulate interdimensional travel here. It's gotta be so cool to be a Rift agent and visit all those worlds. Where are we now? The Rift headquarters. This is where we open portals to other Earths and monitor them for portal activation signatures. Wow, it sounds awesome. Sorry to keep you busy, Agent Zara. I'm a bit nervous, but I'll stay here and not cause any trouble. Okay, so our B button is our jump. Our L2 does a flip in the air. And we can also roll on the ground. Can we wall jump? Oh, we can. Well, that's cool. And our R2 causes some type of blue beam to come out. Okay, so there's our punches. That looks like a heavy attack. And pressing X, Forrest is causing three quick punches, so possibly light attacks. Go to the briefing in the portal room. Let's talk to this person. The briefing is about to begin, Lady Zara. Take the elevator down and head to the portal room. Okay, 
so there's the elevator. Can we go through here? No. I'm loving these graphics. And this time, ensure that the budget includes proper pre-mission analysis. I will not tolerate another Berenstain incident. I have enough on my plate having to deal with the other directors. Yes, ma'am. I'll let the branch leads know about the new budget cuts. Anything else? Don't ma'am me, assistant director. Inform Commissioner Wiseheart to keep her agents busy. I'm tired of seeing them slacking around doing nothing. Oh, hi, Zara. I heard you just handled yet another successful case. Hi, Dash. Hi, Director De Lubridor, or De Lubride, however you say that. Hi, Director. Yeah, there was this Zugathon, and. Hmm, I don't have time for this. You have your orders, Sterling. Yikes, the director can be kind of scary sometimes. Don't let her intimidate you. Good job with the Zugathian, however you say that. Well, it seems like you're busy. I'm running late to the briefing. Get going. Okay, so there's a training area and a portal room. And this big dude. Sprout Iron Bulk. The briefing is in the portal room opposite the gym. Here in the gym, it's just me and my muscles. Ha ha ha. Let's go to the portal room. Hi, Skip. I'm not too late, right? Just in time. The briefing is about to start. But you shouldn't cut it so close, Zara. I was just wrapping up the Zugathian case. Thanks for your advice during the mission, by the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Don't be so modest. I'm impressed you were able to take down that tentacle guy. He looked tough. He wasn't so tough. In fact, now I'm feeling bad about having to put him in a cell. He's not really dangerous. Ahem. Good morning, everyone. Let's start the weekly briefing. Agent Sinclair and her comm operator, Agent Hollister, just completed an urgent mission involving a misplaced Zugathin. The Zugathin had accidentally crossed over a spontaneous portal to another Earth, certainly caused a shock for the locals. Rest assured, the Zugathin is safely locked in confinement. There were no casualties and the containment was minimal. I keep butchering these words. This is horrible. <laughs> Good to hear. Moving on. What news from Sphere? The science, physics, engineering, and research team is working on refining methods for tracing the origin of portals using dimensionate residue. In addition to that, Dr. Freya Granalva is here with updates from the agents placed in Gootopia. Look, Skip, it's Dr. Freya. It's nice to see her back in HQ. Her metabiology class was my favorite at the academy. Nerd. Our research teams have discovered several new types of exotic substances in the last few months. We have also made great progress with the healing goo refining process. However, I have some concerns regarding our policies of conservation of dimensional ectosystems, or lack thereof. That's a matter you can bring up with the board of directors, Dr. Granolva. There's not much I can do about it. Agent Love Pauls, what's the status on the world-dominating AI situation on Asmovia? We can't risk it to spread to other Earths. Just about finished. Azimovia will be under my control in no time. I mean, free of anyone's control. Not under my control. Agent Hollister, we have some updates related to the Ripjaw Gang's presumed interdimensional smuggling. We need a proper analysis on the case. On it, ma'am. I'll proceed to evaluate the risk and potential mission parameters. 
I bet it's my turn next. Agent Pineapple is absent as he's working undercover in the Thunderdome, following yet another amazing case of dimensional episonage on Tarid. Come on, what's my new assignment? I can't wait. And that's it for today. What? Before we finish, Sergeant Ironbulk asked me to remind everyone to please attend your regular training sessions. Agents that have not yet completed them will not be assigned new cases until they do so. I... I totally forgot. Zara. I've got to do my training session right now. See you later, Skip. Hi, Sarge. You finally showed for training, kiddo. It's been a while. I'm sorry, I kept forgetting. You know I love the gym, but I was busy. You gots to be here every day, Sinclair. The body is a beautiful garden, and a garden needs constant attention and protein. I'm already in tip-top shape, Sarge. I throw a mean right hook. Quit flapping your jaws and start moving, Sinclair. Jumping, dodging, fighting. The course is all set up for you. But first, let's see how you handle that proton slinger Dr. Squatch gave you. And make it snappy. Today is chest day. Okay. Press jump to jump across platforms and wall jump. Press attack or heavy attack to break the targets. Hold down and press jump to drop. Hold forward to grab ledges. Okay, there's one target. There's two. Too bad. Let's drop down. Slinging. When an anchor is within Zara's proton slinger range, it will illuminate and indicate the direction it will take you. Holding down aim throw and aiming with the mouse or directional keys will allow you to highlight an anchor. Oh, I didn't get to read all that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is fun. ourselves up here and jump onto that other one. There we go. attack and heavy attack to beat up dummies. Energy meter. The energy meter is set of five bars under Zara's health. It fills when Zara collects energy from defeating enemies or successfully dodging attacks and obstacles. It can be used in three different ways. Hold heal to heal yourself. Healing costs one bar of energy meter and you can heal multiple times in a row by holding the button for longer. Watch out though as you are totally vulnerable while healing. Press burst to unleash a powerful area of effect attack that hurls and knocks back 
any enemies in range. The perfect attack for getting out of a tight spot when swarmed by enemies. Press Fireball to fire Zara's most devastating attack, the Fireball. It deals enough damage to defeat or stun most enemies and is especially effective against large enemies. Be careful though, you must aim your shot carefully. Okay. Let's beat up these dummies here. Hold heal to use heal meter to heal. What is this stuff? Okay, so we're healing now. Dodging. Dodging is one of Zara's most useful abilities. She can dodge obstacles like bullets and lasers as well as enemy attacks. Press dodge to dodge. Successful dodging adds energy to your energy meter. Okay, cool. Don't miss that dodge. Sling to the top. Not too shabby, Sinclair. You really know your way around the proton slinger. It's great for moving around once you get the hang of it. Well, you're ready for duty. If you forget anything, be sure to check your training manual on your datacom. Yes, sir. I believe Commissioner Wiseheart wanted to see you in the office. Make sure you go see her. Don't keep her waiting. That was a pretty cool uh, tutorial. What is this? Upgrades. This is a checkpoint terminal. In addition to offering you a checkpoint in the level if you die, you can access these terminals to equip various upgrades that increase Zara's abilities. However, to access that functionality, you must reach level 1 by collecting enough upgradium and completing a level. Throughout your travels across multiple dimensions, you will find glowing shards of upgradium. There is a certain amount of upgradium in every level. At the end of every level, all of the upgradium you collected is tallied up and converted into experience that levels up Zara. Keep in mind though, that if you do not reach the end of the level, you don't get to keep the upgradium and level up. Energy Radar Every time you level up, you will unlock either a permanent upgrade, an equipable upgrade, or both. Awesome! Permanent upgrades are new abilities that Zara unlocks and can use anytime, anywhere. These include new attacks and increased health. Equipable upgrades vary in function and type and are only active if Zara equips them by visiting a checkpoint terminal. Zara can equip three equipable upgrades at a time. These range from generating a shield to increasing her movement speed. If you're in a difficult spot, Snoop around for some upgradium, complete a level to level up, and visit a checkpoint terminal to equip them. Good to know. Where does this take me? Places that I cannot go.
Hello, Commissioner Weishart, Director Sterling. Did you want to see me? Zara, take a seat, please. Is something wrong, Commissioner? Quite the contrary. Your training and mission performance reports have been outstanding. You are one of our most promising agents, Zara. That's right, Agent Hollister and you make a great team with an excellent mission success rate. We have high hopes for you. Thanks, Director Sterling. That means a lot coming from a decorated agent like you. Oh, pay him no compliments, Sinclair. He gets enough praise already. Now for the reason we called you here, Agent Sinclair. We think you should get a... What's that noise? The intruder alarm. Someone has infiltrated the station. The door won't budge. We're trapped in the office. They must have hijacked the security systems and locked all the doors. Zara. There's a utility tunnel over there under the floor panel. Take it and get the portal room ASAP. Figure out what triggered the alarm. So the utility tunnel should lead me to the portal room, right? Yes, but be careful down there, Zara. I bet that whoever hijacked the systems has activated the security lasers. If it's the only way to get there, I'll find a way to avoid them. Oh, this is gonna be fun. How deep do these tunnels go? Oh, missed my jump. These shiny rocks look like the dimensionate residue a portal leaves behind. Who would open a portal here? Dimensionate residue. Did you hear that? Someone's down here. Unlocks at level one. Look, a rift agent. Get her before she reaches the boss. Got those baddies. What do we have here? What were those dinosaurs? They dropped this wrench. Hmm. I haven't seen this symbol before. Misplaced wrench. The portal room should be just above me. I'll just wall jump. Ugh, this is so sticky. Some kind of goo? What's it doing here? So we picked up a gooey substance. You, stop right there. Hmm? Sinclair? How do you know my name? Who are you? It doesn't matter. All of Rift will fall. What? Not on my watch. You're too late, Sinclair. I've already got what I needed. There are more agents on their way. We won't let you escape. I'll be long, gone long before they arrive. But let me give you some advice, Sinclair. 
leave Rift. Crawl back to the Earth you call home and let us adults redefine the multiverse. And that's the last thing I remember. Based on the bump on my head, I guess they knocked me unconscious. Well, at least you managed to see the intruder. All the cameras had been turned off, so we have no visual on them. The person with the mask mentioned something about having what they needed. Did they steal something? Yes, they took a meta-catalyst from the lab storage area, though we're not sure how. Meta-catalysts are highly volatile and only exist at high temperatures. They need some special equipment to take one. What exactly is a meta-catalyst? Can you give me more information? Why do you think they took it? It's a dangerous energy source that can be weaponized. I recommend getting more information from Dr. Squatch. There's something of greater concern. The security and the camera controls are locked by several passwords. Only a handful of Rift employees would have access to that information. If only some of us had the password and access to the cameras, then how did the intruders get the Meta Catalyst? Either our intruder is one of us, or they got help from inside. I would bet on the informer, as they saw fit to hide behind a mask. A traitor. It makes sense. They knew my name. I am preparing a case file. The code name for their leader, the masked intruder, is Suspect X. I like it. Where do I start? I'm going to check the files, see which Rift personnel have been in this sector of the station during the day. You said you found some odd clues, right? Talk to Dr. Squatch, Dr. Granalva, and Agent Hollister. See if they can help you figure them out. Come back to me after you have spoken to the other agents about the items you found. Okay, our case log has been updated. Throughout your travels, you will come across special objects that are essential to your investigation. Once collected, Zara adds them to her clues menu inside the case log. Uh, show the item to the correct person. Okay. Uh, once you show the correct clue to the correct person, it gets placed inside the appropriate case file. Once you identify and place two to three correct clues in their case file, you may submit it. To submit a case file, talk to Commissioner Weishart. If the case file has sufficient evidence, you may be able to locate and interrogate the suspect of the case. Okay. Show the Dimensionite to someone who can identify it. Show the gooey substance to someone who can identify it. Show the wrench to someone who can identify it. Okay, we need to hunt down these people. Hmm, this wrench isn't from Rift. This symbol isn't ours but I feel like I've seen it somewhere. One of those dinosaur-like intruders dropped it. They seem to be working for Suspect X. Maybe they're Reptarians. Oh right, I recently saw this symbol in the files for the Rip Jaw game. Reptarian Wrench. Reptarians? The Rip Jaw game? Ripteria is an earth where dinosaurs never went extinct and developed an amazing civilization. That is, until a couple centuries back, when a cataclysm turned their entire world into a barren wasteland where nothing grows. Most Reptarians now live in small communities that trade their limited resources, but gangs ruled by warlords such as Ripjaw raid them ruthlessly. What's more, there are suspicions that Ribjaw has been smuggling tech from other dimensions, but we still haven't found a proof of this. If the masked intruder is gathering allies in Reptaria, let's add it to your target destinations in the investigation, Zara. You're the best, Skip. We're going to crack this case in no time. Okay, let's find our other people. Okay, here's Freya Granalva. Uh, let's show her the goo. 
Where did you find this absorbing goo, Zara? Have you been to Gootopia lately? I've never been there, Dr. Freya. Isn't that where you've been doing your research? What do you know about this absorbing goo? It's a very common substance that occurs naturally in the swampy areas of Gootopia. This goo is an unparalleled insulator. We often use it to transport highly dangerous materials. Even a bomb can be rendered harmless if dumped in this substance. We use it a lot at our research stations on Gootopia, but those stations have been under attack by unnatural monsters of late. Interesting. The intruders could have used this to hold the stolen meta cataclysm. Apparently, it's really hot, so that would make sense. That would be the best way to transport a meta catalyst, Zara. This suspect X knows they're stuck. Gootopian goo. Thanks for your insight, Dr. Freya. Wow, there's a lot of talking in this. <laughs> okay, here's Dr. Squatch. And we will show him the dimensionate residue. Oh, you found some dimensionate? Great. Let me analyze it so that I can isolate its dimensional footprint. It seems that the portal was opened from Earth, JPN 160 Alpha, more commonly known as the Thunderdome. Thunderdome Dimensionite. The Thunderdome is a world ruled by robots. They overthrew the humans that created them and took over their Earth. Then they turned the Thunderdome into a pleasure palace for tourists from other realities. But a robot called Hancho, chairman of the clan Tolmechia, is believed to have an iron grip on everything going on in the Thunderdome. One of the best agents is currently investigating Hancho. We think he's bribing rift agents to turn a blind eye to unregulated interdimensional travel. Hmm. It might be worth heading to the Thunderdome and paying Hancho a visit. He could easily be connected to this. Sounds like a good lead. Thanks for the info, Sam. Okay, build a case with Commissioner Wiseheart. Let's head back to her office. Submit case. Rift Raid. Suspect X infiltrated Rift HQ. I see you've gathered some clues and identified their origin. Gootopia, Reptaria, and the Thunderdome. Three seemingly unrelated Earths. It looks like Suspect X gathered allies in Reptaria, made use of a substance from Gootopia, and traveled through the Thunderdome. Each of those Earths have links that might be related to the case. Ripjaw smuggling, Hancho bribing rift agents, the anomalies in Gootopia. Well, Sinclair, I'd say you already have some good leads for the investigation. The case is in your hands now. I'll send you the files on those three Earths and have you cleared to access them. Can I have Skip as my comm operator as usual? Yes, but be careful. I know Hollister is your friend, but trust no one. I know I can trust you, as we were in the same room. The same goes for Dash. Don't worry, Skip is trustworthy. Is there anything else I should know before I head out? First, Dr. Squatch said the Mata Cataclysm that Suspect X stole could be weaponized, so we must expect the worst and act swiftly. I've gathered a list of all the Rift employees who were in the area when the in incursion happened. All of them should be in your case log. If you can collect enough evidence from the different worlds, I can issue a warrant for the arrest of whoever is behind those crimes and we can bring them in for questioning. Okay, talk to Sam Squatch. I believe he's still back here. Hi Sam, is the portal ready? You arrived just in time. I've set the computer to authorize you to access Reptaria, Gootopia, and the Thunderdome. 
As per Wiseheart's request, I've already pre-selected target areas in each of those Earths. In Reptaria, a factory that Ribjaw's gang uses as a base, a cannon they use to move stolen supplies, and a scrapyard where a deserter may have information for us. In Gutopia, there's a swamp full of mutated monsters, a cave with dimensional anomalies, and a goo-infested lab where we lost some valuable formulas. In the Thunderdome, you'll rendezvous with Agent Pineapple and with an informant, Funky. We're also planning a stealth mission into one of Hancho's palaces. Good work, Sam. I'll check all those areas out. Hopefully I'll find some clues to figure out who took the Meta Cataclyst and why. Be careful out there. These locations all seem quite dangerous. Alright, so we've opened up a portal. Let's go in here. Oh, I get to pick where I want to go. Cool. Okay, we'll start with Reptaria. Are these stars meaning uh, difficulty, maybe? Okay, we'll start with the slimy mire. Mutate, mutated goo beasts are all over the Gutopian swamps. Where are they coming from? Skip. I've arrived at the Gutopia swamps. Alright, your mission here is to locate the source of the hostile gelatinous life forms that have invaded here. According to Dr. Freya, these creatures do not occur in nature. The source has to be here in this swamp. Hostile gelatinous life forms? So evil blobs of goo? I like to call them gooblins. Sigh. The absorbing goo that Suspect X used to steal the Meta Cataclyst came from this area as well. That can't be a coincidence. These goo monsters must be guarding something. Any other intel I should know? There are two abandoned outposts ahead. They belong to Sphere, the scientific research branch of Rift. I'll head over there and look for clues. Moving out. Gutopia, Slimy Mire, find the origin of the Gooblins. Okay. Can I jump on this? I can. Oh, cool. I can swim in this. Or just keep jumping in it. We'll punch those, uh piles of goo there. I'm trying to get my energy bar built up here. So I have uh, two bars it looks like so far. Go pick up this energy. There we go. And there's a plant right there. Try to grab this bomb. Oh, I missed. And I missed again. There we go. Alright, we found some upgradium. Nice.
Entering a cave system connected to the outpost skip, I might lose reception. Copy that. Stay alert. These caves are dangerous. Okay, there's our checkpoint. Yikes, this green stuff looks deadly. Let's take out that plant. I wonder if there's anything up top here. Ooh, there is. So let's go back up here. Okay, enemies look like they do not respawn, so that's also nice. Let's pull that. Hmm, I can't get through this way. I've got to look around. Is that a secret area up here? It looks like it. Oh, nice. There's a portal of some sort. Wonder where this will take me. Let's get rid of this plant. Radiums right now. I want that green stuff to hit me. Take that guy out. And there's our checkpoint. guy. I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Showing the platforming in this. Let's heal up there. Let's go this way. Okay, there's four upgradiums that we got. Ow. Crap. There we go. Let's heal up. Okay. 
Thankfully, we have some of these goo monsters here that we can take out and recharge our energy. We'll top off our health there. Radium shard. Let's just float down through here. Pull that. There we go. It's over here. Was this the way I came? I can't remember. Yeah, we've been over here. Go down below. Aha! The Sphere Outpost. Skip, do you read me? I'm in the first Sphere Outpost. No gooblins here. Just some pink substance that I haven't seen before. I'm sending you my data comes readings of the goo. Can you let me know what it is? I'll run it through our database. It appears to be a... Some type of uh, oozide. That's a mouthful. If enough of that substance comes into contact with organic matter, it can temporarily reduce its size. Be careful. Hmm. So it can shrink stuff. I guess I'll put it in a can and bring it back to HQ. It might not be related to the case, but someone might find it useful. Shrinking goo. Check your case log for more information. Temporarily reduces someone's size. Okay. There's our checkpoint. Wasn't, wasn't ready for that guy to be there. Let's check out this goo guy here. this shard. Okay, we have 6 of 11 right now. We're about there. Halfway there at least. I'm gonna heal up. another shard. Alright, we have 7 of 11 now. Take that guy out. Or what's over there? I don't think I can reach over there yet. The second spear outpost is ahead, past the acid goo pits. Okay, let's go up here first. I think I need to make this jump to reach that though. So let's do that. I'm 
Yay, we got another upgrade crystal. Sweet. Oh. I was going too fast. There we go. Oh, I made it. Okay, let's uh, hit our checkpoint there. I really enjoy how this sling uh, ability works. It slows down time and everything for you. Okay, let's get in here. Before we try this here, let's grab that one. Take out that plant. Okay, nine of eleven shards. Only two more to go. Okay, I need to get through there. It looks like. These are respawning. Okay. I'll just farm here and get my energy up. There we go. We have full energy. Can I go up? Guess not. Oh, cool. So that killed all of the uh, goo monsters there. Oh, that was the end of the level. Okay. Energy radar. Activate a terminal for more information. Slide kick. Activated terminal for more information. Healing factor. Dive kick. Sweet. So it looks like it only took us like 14 minutes to make it through that level. We gained enough experience to reach level 2. We didn't find all of the upgradium shards though, so we may have to um, upgrade our abilities more to maybe find those other two. I'm not sure. I found a machine that was creating gooblins non-stop. Luckily, I was able to shut it down. Did you see anything else? Any kind of clue of who did this? I'm afraid I don't see anything, Skip. But if this is a Rift lab, does it mean someone from Rift was responsible? Certainly lines up with Wiseheart's suspicions. I guess we'll have to keep investigating. Zara, wait a second. The scanner has detected a dimensional anomaly in your area. I see. It looks like someone has opened a portal near me. Could it be Suspect X? Only one way to know. I'll go check it out. Alright everyone, so that will do it for our first Let's Play of Double Cross today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was pretty long and a lot of reading. 
but uh, so far I'm definitely enjoying this game, what I've played of it so far. I'm loving this platforming and all of the different abilities and the fact that you can upgrade abilities and whatnot is going to be awesome. So anyways, hope you guys take care. You can check this game out on Steam. It's actually on sale until January 16th. You can pick it up there for $14.99. So uh, as always, everyone, I hope you guys take care. Please be safe. Keep gaming. And I'll see you guys here next time for some more Double Cross. Take care and bye-bye.